So the other day I'm doing a wedding. Uh, it was a four hour drive. I stayed overnight and I was working with a photographer and a videographer and you know everybody that you work with at a wedding. Uh, and uh, the videographer showed up um, to the wedding, which I was the officiant at, and wanted a feed for the system so that he could have that. Hi, I'm Bill again. This is a creative license. Uh, thanks for being a part of it. Uh, thanks for being nice to my sponsors, uh, Electro Voice, of course, and uh, the Entertainment Experience, which uh, just ended up its... Uh, November workshop. I'll have to tell you about that in one of the shows coming up. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, the wedding, I was the officiant. The uh, The ceremony was at a hotel, and then the reception went over to another place. The videographer showed up, as they do, and they uh, he needed a feed, but I was not in charge of the audio. They had not hired me to do the speakers and the microphones. The hotel was relatively new. They had this great new sound system, all these microphones. So the the, uh, the client just decided to pay for that. I'm like, okay, that's no problem. Well, the officiant, uh, I'm the officiant, I'm there. The videographer shows up and he needs his feed and they have an output from the wall with an RCA out to a mini into his recorder videographer did not have this he'd been doing weddings for two and a half years yet he did not have this basic cord connector it made me shake my head at first I mean here's a guy who needs to get audio feeds on a regular basis and doesn't have the connectors that he needs so you know the snob in me was like oh you know, here we go again another amateur not having what they need but then I thought about it, and I don't know about you, but when I first started out, I didn't have all the connectors. I didn't think that far into whether or not I needed this or the other thing to make an adaption work or to adapt this or to adapt that. And I learned as I went, finding, I mean, I've got a whole tackle box full of connectors I've used once. <laughs> I've, got, I've got connectors that I've gotten to a gig and I know I have. Yet, I ran out to Radio Shack to buy a tenth variety of the adapter. So, what can we learn from this? Well, number one, you know, try to be sure you have as many connectors as you can. You get to be the hero. I was not responsible for the sound, but as the officiant, I could have taken responsibility and made sure that I had a connector when the guy showed up. Because I do this for a living, I should have that stuff. But at the very least, you know, remember where you came from. And remember that you were that guy too once. And, you know, things happen. And we do our best to, to make them happen. And that's how we learn, right? We learn by mistakes. So I hope you've been having lots of mistakes lately. <laughs> and get a chance to learn. Because, hey, 30 years in, I'm still making mistakes. I'm Bill Herman. This is Creative License, and I'll see you next time. Peace.